here now. Well, thank you very much for having me on your show. Well, we are handling a very difficult situation. Unfortunately, we have 13 people dead, including one from the army. That makes it 14. Heartfelt condolences to the civilians who got killed in this accident. So the problem here is, or the thing here is, Honorable Home Minister clearly stated it's a case of mistaken identity. Look at the situation. We have a border with Myanmar and we have Arakan's army there. Arakan's army is now 12,000 strong militia, 100% funded by China with the latest weapons. Now we have a border with China, we have a border with Bangladesh and Bangladesh has a lot of those Islamists and all who keep on pestering us and who keep on infiltrating into our land. Assam Rifles has been doing a fantastic job. Look at the three incidents which happened in the last one and a half months. Assam Rifles, unfortunately, has been the target of insurgents. And the game which is being played is somehow, somehow get ASPA repealed. The repealing of ASPA will make it easy for these terrorists and insurgents to have their, make it the wild west of the India. Look at the three instances. Oday. They had a problem in the Manipur border. They Assam Rifles lost six people. Recently, Colonel Tripathi is the eight-year-old son. His wife and four people from QRT team got killed on spot. And some of them were from Manipur and other states of Northeast. Now, today, one more person. If you do the numbers, Assam Rifles in last one and a half month have lost 14 people. So it is like what the Rashi Rifles is, is have, what happens to Rashi Rifles in JNK. Their people, their army personnel, and their officers are targeted. Ambushes are laid. It's a very difficult situation for us to sit here and comment when you have blood, bullets flying your right and left, when you have your commanding officer dead with his eight or son and his wife, and you have landmines, and you, you, know, you have this gunfire going on. These incidents or accidents can happen, or they can be even engineered. What makes us not believe that this was an engineered accident? How many times do we believe, you know, compliment the army for doing successful operations? But at times, the same people face operations of brand like Dantewada. Recent, now, I mean, a few days back, we had a successful operation against Mois in Maharashtra. Then we complimented our forces. But Uday, it's a very difficult life they lead. This, this is an accident. And I don't think people of Nagaland or anybody should see it before that. The accord happened in 1997. 22 years have gone by. The resolve, the intent of government of India and the people of India is very clear, but accidents happen everywhere. I mean, look at a doctor. A doctor can pro perform 100 bypasses. He can have one failure. A brain surgery can go wrong. A normal pregnancy can go wrong and fatality can happen. How can we expect these people to work in extreme conditions? And when we know these three incidents where their commanding officer got killed, somebody gave the intel. There are people who are giving the intel to the insurgents. And why these insurgents are not, you know, kind of questioned. Repealing of ASPA is the deadliest mistake we do. We have seen 42,000 people dead in JNK. Who took the maximum brand around 30,000 people, men in uniform, have laid up their life for the country. I mean, what, what kind of demand is this? We have to very carefully see it. We have to believe what Mr. Amir Shah said. Yes. It is an accident. It's an accident. Nothing beyond that. Nobody, I can't say with my blood. Nobody from Indian Army can kill a countryman of his own country. Indian Army doesn't kill civilians. It's good at eliminating terrorists and jihadis and Islamists, but not our own people. But accidents can happen. This is an accident, and we apologize, but it's, let's leave it at that. It's nothing beyond that. Nobody in Indian Army wearing the uniform, and the uniform can ever, never, ever kill an Indian civilian. This message is loud and clear. I want to ask what happened to the uh, right. local police. When, when, when Colonel Tripathi was killed, who is responsible for his eight-year-old son, Art Salka Beta Mara in terrorist stone Uska? Who will pay for that? Why did you kill his wife? Now you are saying we apologize and all that. They are hardcore terrorists. They want this, they want to create this drama so that the government of India is compelled to remove Apsa and they get a free playing ground. We okay. cannot send Indian Army there with high hands okay. tied behind by the back. It won't happen. It's okay. not fair. We're getting now some breaking news also coming in. At Home Minister on the how Parliament, both Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha, comes and says it's a case of mistaken identity. The first thing which has to go very, very clear from all sides, nobody wearing the uniform of Indian Army has ever, never, ever killed a civilian. Name me incident in the last 75 years where an Indian Army personnel has killed a civilian. It doesn't happen. Accidents can happen when bullets are flying everywhere, right and left. What General Sam rightly said, when there was an intel, when we know these militants are dreaded, when we know they have eliminated their commanding officer along with his family and four members of the QRT team at spot. So we know we are handling hardcore terrorists. 
So at times, you know, engaging them with a normal naka bandi or a Delhi style, you know, you put a barricade and start asking questions that may not happen. They might have sophisticated LMGs and machine guns before you start asking the questions. They might fire at you. The people have to understand these are troubled times, and the and the enemies of the country can orchestrate such issues to ferment trouble, to create trouble when the things are getting not back to normal. How to create trouble? How to ferment trouble? And when such incidents have not happened for last twenty two years. Why they are happening now? This is an accident. We apologize for that. This is the message which has to go to the people of Nagaland. Compensation, you know, government jobs, whatever happens, accidents happen. Oday, we can have a bus slipping and going into a gorge, and much many more people can die. So these accidents happen. Doctors who save lives, even on the operation table, people die. Even while rescuing, people die. When 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 Copen happened, doctors, you know, themselves got killed who were trying to save people. So accidents are a nature of thing, and even sigma six is ninety nine point nine nine percent efficient. Nothing can be hundred percent efficient. It is an accident. We apologize. We'll improve the SOPs. But beyond that, the one thing has to be completely out of table. Completely out of table. Indian Army never ever will kill an Indian or a civilian. This is not what Indian Army and how Indian Army operates. The best, most professional army which works in the toughest conditions in the country, from J and K, from these borders and. We have these nefarious elements who send terrorists, who kill women, who kill children, who they do not differentiate between okay. a civilian. They do not differentiate between an army officer and his eight-year-old eight son. That is the kind of people we are handling. Okay. And in these situations, life is very difficult. It's either you kill me or I get killed. Right. It's as simple as that. All right, let's leave it at that. My thanks.